Yo, what's going on, everybody? Chokak Gaming here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at Grayson's first generation Bluebird Vision Pack. And it comes in handicap, short, and standard variants. So, I figured in the beginning here, we'll start in the spawner by looking at the light configuration. So, down here at the bottom in the configurations box, we have G2 Fusion, Incandescent, Non Strobing, Strobing, Upgraded G2 Fusion, which is going to be your upgraded stop arm, and those are your light configurations. Starting the walk around, we'll start up front. We have a crossing gate and a number on the bumper, 0769. And then on the hood, we have headlights, turn signals, turn signals on the fenders on the hood, turn signals on the body. And then working our way up, we have our crossbeam mirrors, which are mounted to the bus securely and blacked out. I wish they were, but they don't. And then on our windshield, we have windshield wipers and then a divider splitting the windshield into two pieces. I like it. I like it. And then we have the school bus sign then um, clearance lights, and then our warning lights, both amber and reds. Then we have an antenna on the roof. How cool is that to have an antenna on the bus? Working our way down the side, we have the rims, which are yellow with black lug nuts. And then on the side of the hood, we have the Bluebird Vision logo from back in the day. And then on the side of the bus by the door here, we have a little window, I would suppose, so you can see out to the kids. Don't exactly know what the purpose of that is. Then we have the door itself, which uh, I feel like it's a little wider than it could be. Um, than it's supposed to be, but you know, it's a, it's an old bus, it's a good door, and I like the uh, little silver thing, just like real life on the actual Bluebird doors. Working our way this way, we have the door well light, or not door well light, not step well light, just a door light on the side of the bus. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the right clearance turn signal, and then marker light, whatever you want to call it, number 0769. Bluebird logo up top, along with a part of a white roof, and then we have tinted windows down the side, one emergency exit right there, and then one down the there. So then we have um, the district name, ROR Public Schools, and then we have another yellow rim with black lug nuts, and then a mud flap, which is actually labeled Bluebird. And then we have wheels, which are the same all the way around, at least in the back, and they are, well, they're wheels. So working our way to the back, we have two lights right there, one right there and one up there, and then on the actual back of the bus, starting up the top, we have the clearance lights, our school bus sign, our overhead warning lights, our glass in the back, glass on the door and then we actually have a light up text sign right there our emergency door handle the emergency door itself then we have the reverse lights brake lights turn signals and then we have our little brake lights right there they're not brake lights tail lights and then we have our uh, number 0769 and then we have our bumper along with our exhaust Moving along to the bright side of the bus, the driver's side of the bus. So we have two lights right here, just like on the other side. And then we have our rear stop sign, which does come out, of course. And then we have our emergency exit in the back. And then we have our rim and, well, lug nuts right there. The rim's yellow, the lug nuts are black. And then we have ROR Public Schools on the side, our marker light up top. And then we have an emergency exit. 0769, stop sign, another marker light turn signal. And then we have the Bluebird logo up top. And of course, tinted windows. And then on towards the driver's side, we have the battery box down there, the fuse box right there, and then the driver window, which I believe does open, by the way, and I'll have a light right there. Looking underneath, or the undercarriage of the bus, we have the, uh, well, the quote axle right here, which, uh, well, floating, and then we have the inside of our bumper, and then we have these steps going into the bus, and then right here we have our drive shaft, then going to the back, we have an axle back here, and then we have our mud flaps, going over to the rear bumper and then the exhaust well only comes out the end and well the other mud flap and the exhaust just like the front axle doesn't actually exist moving over to the inside coming on into the bus we have steps right here which i feel like there's a little bit of texture i don't know discoloration misfit textures right there kind of weird from this side going to this side about right here there's something going on there, but anywho, moving on, we have our vents down there, which are looking extremely nice, and then we have our dash, which looks you know, really old, because this is a first-generation Bluebird Vision, which was manufactured, I believe, from 2003 to 2007. Don't quote me on that. However, we have our number up there, 0769, body fluid cleanup kit, first aid kit, and then going on into the actual bus driver's compartment. We'll get to that in a minute. Then going down the aisle, this is actually looking pretty, really nice. We have brown seats, which have highly detailed textures. And then we have an aisle. We even have the rivets in the aisle. Look at that. Would you looky there? And then just looking down, we have the emergency lever in the back. And then we have the emergency door text right there, along with the uh, 
Well, the little uh, cushion thing up there, whatever you want to call it. Make sure you don't bonk your head on that. Or if you do bonk your head on that, it won't hurt as hard as you as it would if you hit it on the bare metal of the emergency door. Yeah. But anyways, moving on, we have the light up there. And we have speakers on this bus. Speakers up top. And then we have um, interior lights, dome lights, whatever you want to call them. And then we have the inside emergency windows. And then we, have, we actually have the lever on these, which is super, super cool. And then going up to the front, we have the driver's area. So let's check it out. Looking at the driver's area itself, not much going on here. We have the uh, well, warning light indicators right there. And then we have, you know, just some empty switches. And then up top, we have our mirrored yellow kids sit down. And then uh, we have our steering wheel and we have our horn. Just the regular default ROR horn and then the gauges. We have the speedometer. We have the RPM gauge and we have our turn signal indicator. So if we turn the turn signal on or hazard on, whatever you want to call them, those will show up there and you can even see them on the hood, both of them. And then we have, uh, let's see, let's see, what is that? Voltage, water, and then air gauge, oil gauge, and fuel gauge. So this thing is looking about three quarters of a tank on fuel. So uh, yeah, that's the driver's compartment. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and let's start this monster up. All right, and it sounds like a Cat C7. I believe the only engines you can get in this bus are the Cat C7 and the Cummins 5.9. And I believe the Caterpillar is more common in these. So let's go ahead and let's get the headlights on and let's give it a couple of revs like we just did there. And then let's go ahead. We've already done a walk around, so let's go ahead. We'll put it in drive, we'll release the brake, and then we will close the door. And then uh, we'll take it for a little test spin. So you can see on the uh, speedometer, if you can, I'll pull this one up right here. And we're gonna take it up to 60, and then uh, we'll slow it right down to zero, and we'll see how good the brakes work. All right, so we're making our way up to 60. All right, 50. See, let's just keep going perfectly straight. We might go off the map, but oh well. So let's go to exterior camera. Let's see, oh, might be governed to, oh, 55. Bus is definitely one of those buses that stays around 55. I believe it might be governed at 55. Indeed, it is. Let's see. Let's slam the brakes. And those brakes work mighty fine. Another thing I just noticed is watch the back of the exhaust. Smoke comes out of this thing. Watch this. I give it a couple of revs, and we have black smoke coming out of the bus. How cool is that? Super, super cool. So let's go ahead and we'll turn the hazards on and we'll turn on the, we'll hit the brakes. So you can see the brake lights and everything. Those are the tail lights, those are the brake lights. So let's go ahead, let's activate the amber warning lights and you can see on the back door, it says caution. So that is the flashing LED text sign. So then let's put it in reverse. So you can see the reverse lights, there you go. The annoying reverse beeper, put it in neutral. We'll apply the brake and then we'll look at the front. There y'all go and then I'll go ahead and I will open the door, which will turn on the red overhead warning lights, pull out our stop sign or our crossing gate. And um, well, let's go ahead and let's get out of the bus. Let's do a detailed walk around of this. Walking on out of here, if you turn around, you will see that our crossing gate is out and functioning properly along with our red LED warning lights. And then walking down the side, we can see that our LED flashing text stop sign is working properly on both sides. And then walking towards the rear, we can see that our stop sign in the back works along with that, which is super cool. It says stop, because you know, you gotta stop for the school bus. And then we have the red LED flashing warning lights. And then down the side, we have all of those lights working and everything. We have the door light working right there. And then if you walk right up onto the bus, you can see that the red light in the rear is on. And then if we turn around, let's see. Do these clearance lights work? Or not clearance lights, interior lights. Let's see if they work. And it looks like the interior lights indeed they do work. Control F4 by default, they will work. There are some other cool commands on this bus. For example, if you press F6, the rear door will open. If you press F5, the roof hatches will open just a little bit, just for ventilation. And then F8 will open the driver's window. I know, yeah, I forgot to mention, 
the shifter does um it animates so if you put it in neutral it goes in neutral put it in reverse it goes in reverse unfortunately it doesn't go on the second or first gear and then the parking brake also animates i had it inverted there for a second don't know how that happened but anyway let's get going right back to where we had it so let's turn on our left turn signal as a matter of fact before we put it away let's test the uh stability of this bus so we'll turn it left and then we'll go right and then we'll go left again well this bus is pretty sturdy sweet so if i i believe we had it this way could very well be wrong as a matter of fact i am very wrong we had it this way let's go to the exterior camera and let's back it up so we put it in reverse put the hazards on go a little toot toot And then we'll stop, put it in drive, and then we'll just pull right on up. There we go. We'll open the door, put it in neutral, apply the parking brake, turn the hazard lights off, turn the headlights off, and then we'll shut the bus off. And that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I have a link to the channel Discord server in the description below. With that being said, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.